Hello and welcome to Infinity. It can be very useful to select areas for adjustment through the luminosity and then you can apply individual adjustments to those and a simple way to do it is to start with a luminosity map. And a way to do that is if we go to adjustments here, go to levels, change the RGB here to grey and the black and white picture there is effectively a luminosity map. So the lighter areas, the luminosity is greater. So we want to reduce this now to a number of separate levels rather than to try and use this all together. So this is a way of doing these things. You can use it like this, but you can also reduce it to levels by going to posterize. And this puts another layer here. And it starts off with four and typically Five is often a good one. You can go up as far as 11, as in the Ansel Adams system. But you just pick the one you like and edit from there. So what we're going to do with this now is to shift click here and do a control G to group this and we'll call this luminosity. And this is simply our selection area. So we're going to turn this off before long. What we can do within this, by the way, is to go back to the levels and use any of the controls here, even down to the outputs here and so on. You can see this changes the zones, even the gamma. So you can play with this to get the selection you want. So let's just leave that as normal at the moment. You can also use a curves instead of that uh, for even more control. But what we're going to do with this is say, Let's look at this. I think the dark areas here, let's make them a bit lighter. So we will go to the flood select tool, the magic wand there. And then what we do with this is we change the source to all layers, change the tolerance to zero and the contiguous uncheck that. And the reason we can do it at zero tolerance is because we've got solid blocks of colour. So if I click on the black here, it selects all other areas like that. So I can take those and going as add a little bit more to this. So first of all, I can just turn off this so I can see the, the colour. And then I can add in an adjustment. So let's say use curves. And the moment I've done this, the curves which I want to be above there, so I can drag that up to the top. And this now has got the mask built in from this, so I can hit Control D, I don't need the marching ants anymore. And now, for example, all I need to do is to pull this up here to lighten the darker areas a bit, so I can get a bit more light, say, into the hair and into the vegetation there. Problem with this, is that if I look closely here, I've got hard edges on it. So a way to get rid of those hard edges is simply to blur it. So if I go to live filters here and right to the top, Gaussian blur. And the reason these are appearing one above the other, of course, is because I've got the assistant manager here and I got add adjustment as new layer and add filter as new layer. I do this quite a lot these days. So if I drag that down so it's a child of that, then it's going to apply only to the curves, the mask within the curve. So now if I turn up the radius, I'm not blurring the picture. I'm only blurring the mask so that the curve adjustment is applied softer at the edges. So as I turn that up, then those edges disappear. But if I turn the curves on and off, you can see that I'm having that lightning effect as I want to. So this is the basic principle of doing this. So if I turn this off, turn on the luminosity back again, and let's say, let's take the bit of the lake here, click on this and use the flood select, that's it, to click on the lake. I might actually want to try and adjust this now to limit this. So let's just try going to the levels here and see if I can adjust this to select more of the lake. 
and let's let's say do that so I'm just going to pick up this area now so I flood select pick that area there and now I'm going to go back up here and put in another curves and I want to select this so I'm actually going to alt click here I can see here so I'm now editing on the mask Control D don't need the marching ants but I just want that ear in the lake to kept so I'm going to paint away everything else so I guess get a paintbrush make sure it's black and what's the hardness there pasty 100% hardness halfway up that'll do and I'm just going to paint away these areas here I don't want to affect and these down here and see it's easier to get to the edge now with this and I'll leave the edging on as well if I want to but I could always go and paint that off if I wanted to. So now I've got that mask set. I can blur that a bit if I want but if I'm happy with it I could also leave it. I will mostly put on a blur so go to Gaussian blur, drag that down over that and then I'm going to turn off the luminosity group there and now I'm going to just look at this here because if I turn up the curves you'll see where the edges are. See there are hard edges on this so I just want to go to the blur here turn up the radius to soften that adjustment enough then go back to the curves control zero to go out and adjust this just to make it a little bit lighter not too much and there we go, there's the basic approach. Let's turn back on the light and the darks as well. There's a basic approach you have to selecting by luminosity areas and the ability to change those. That's it and thank you very much for watching.